All right, it's time for another DLM sermon. So um, I'm he out here in Phoenix, Arizona, and I actually like the weather here, right? Today it's about 110 degrees, but it's more important for me to get UV light. I have um, seasonal depression. I'm recording this in July, but extra UV light never hurts me. And uh, this stuff is a lot better than the couple of light bulbs that I can have in my room. And um, I did some research, and I hope I get to stay here through the winter time. Uh, we, we do get plenty of UV here during the winter as well. Actually, uh, I did a little bit of an experiment. So back during the summer solstice, we had a full moon a couple days after that. And so I went out to see how high the moon goes, because that would be a good approximation of how high the sun goes during the winter time, like, oh, this is not bad at all, and that's the worst of the winter. And so I thought that was good. Now the problem is that I do very well out here in sunlight. So I'm a professor, and just earlier today during my walk, I came up with um, some ideas on how to explain some concepts to some of my students. I have a couple students who have a hard time with various concepts. And so it's, it's usually when I'm not working that I do most of my work. A lot of people don't seem to realize that. Some of the best ideas I ever come up with are not in front of an office, uh, in front of a screen at the office. They're out here in nature. They're at the Gdansk Bay. They're at a social event at a board game club. That's where I do most of my work. But unfortunately, it never gets appreciated that way. People just think I'm wasting time. Now, when I was working on my PhD, my advisor had a very hard time grasping that concept. It took her three years to grasp it. So one time, the, the way she grasped it, and this, this one will make you laugh. I had misplaced my laptop, and I had lost about two weeks work, uh, of work. I, I don't know why I didn't back up my stuff for many weeks. I got distracted with something in my life at the moment. And I had a big meeting with my advisor the following day. And it was about 9 in the evening when I realized I didn't have my laptop. I went looking for it. I had gone to several uh, grocery stores that day. I had uh, gone to a, a computer lab within the campus. I went looking for the laptop. Nowhere to be found. And I'm panicking because I have to see my advisor the following day. So I go on to Craigslist to, to see if I can buy a used laptop. You got to remember, this is Rochester, New York. We don't have 24-hour uh, Walmart super centers like we do here in Phoenix or Seattle. And so I frantically call people on Craigslist. It's it's the middle of the night, uh, but you got to understand this is a college town. The kids need money more than they need sleep, so that was okay. So I got the laptop and I crammed all night to try to recover whatever I could. And to my surprise, I come up with a result that I had overlooked previously. And I recovered most of what I had lost those two weeks. So I go sit down with my advisor. It's about 10 in the morning, if I remember correctly. And everything would have been good, except that I didn't get any sleep at all. But I had this big result, so I thought she would understand. And my advisor looked me in the eye and said, you know, I, we don't want you to have major medical bills because we don't want to pay for them. Um, why don't you get some good rest and enjoy your life as well? And um, uh, she asked me how my personal life was. If I, I Six months before that, I had a very rough relationship where I had uh, been abused by a girl. She asked me if I had met another girl. And I explained to her that, you know, I, I discovered that all the things I did with the girl I could do without as well. So I've taken a break from dating. And um, so my advisor encouraged me to enjoy some personal life. as well. That's when she realized that I wasn't fooling around when I was um, uh, coming out here to get some sunlight, going to a board game club, going on vacation. And um, yeah, I can attest, I do more than 50% of my work outside of the outside of the desk. That's how it is, and unfortunately it never gets appreciated. Anyways, DOM.